Listen to this orchestrated example of trichord 016. Now here's trichord 025 with the same orchestration. I want to make post-tonal theory seem less like abstract math, and that's why I put together downloadable ear training modules about hearing interval classes and trichords. I wanted to keep the aural environment interesting and practical, so instead of sterile, monotonous, rhythmless harmonies like this, I'm using a wide range of MIDI instruments and different rhythmic textures for the audio examples, so that same chord might sound like this. Or like this. Before identifying trichords, you need to be able to identify intervals as a number of semitones. So a sequence that sounds like this is minus five plus two plus six minus four. If you can already identify tonal intervals, this is just a shift in nomenclature. When you're comfortable identifying intervals in pitch space as a number of semitones, then you're ready to train interval classes in pitch class space. Let me go through what that means. A pitch class refers to a note regardless of its octave, an interval class refers to the shortest distance between pitch classes, measured in semitones. Since C and E flat are separated by three semitones, any C going to any E flat is a distance of interval class three. C and A are also separated by three semitones. So any C going to any A is also interval class three. In tonal terms, interval class three includes an ascending minor third, descending minor third, ascending major sixth, descending major sixth, and any of those with additional octaves added. There are only seven interval classes, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It can be a strange way to think about intervals, but you'll be able to build on this as a way into non-tertian trichord identification later. I've designed audio exercises here to make hearing interval classes more manageable as follows. Each audio excerpt has three segments of notes, and all three segments will use just two interval classes in total. So you should approach each exercise first by asking yourself, which two interval classes are used? And if you can do that, then there's a follow-up task because each of the three segments is using the exact same series of interval classes. So you can then try to identify the exact series which is repeated for each audio segment. Let's hear an example which uses the interval classes five and one. For this one, the specific sequence was 51551 five, each time. Now here's another example. Try to identify the two interval classes, and if you can get that, then identify the particular series. My downloadable module on hearing interval classes includes PDF worksheets, zipped sound files, and video that you can use to practice with, but let's move on to the next step. Once you can hear interval classes, you have a great framework for identifying trichord set classes according to their interval content, because each of the 12 trichord set classes has a unique combination of interval classes measured between each pair of notes. This is a less technical way to think about trichords since it doesn't require dealing with chord inversions and an axis of symmetry. Some excerpts may be harder to pick out individual intervals, and for that reason, you'll also want to associate sonorities with your own emotional responses to them. 
Interval content with one or six, for example, tends to make those sonorities sound more dissonant. In the following exercises, I'll play three harmonies separated each by a pause. They use different notes and voicings, but all three of the segments will use the same trichord set class and the same interval content. Here's an example of set class 013. It has a semitone and a minor third in it, and in tonal terms, it sounds like a minor third with an added ninth or added flat ninth. See if you can identify this one. That was Tricord Set Class 024. See if you can identify this next one. Check the description for details about how to download all those ear training materials and don't let post-tonal music theory just be a math class.